Hello, welcome back to another episode on Red Bull. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and leave a like. Let's get into the story now. Thanks everyone for the kind words and advice. Original story. My wife cheated with her coworker. Need help. I'm a 30 year old male married to 28 year old female. I made a post about a month or so ago about my wife masturbating on Snapchat and me catching her in the act. I've suspected her of cheating for about a month and a half now. She's always on her phone constantly. Made her delete Snapchat after the last experience. New Year's Eve night at roughly 11. 45 PM I found her using WhatsApp so I knew she replaced Snapchat with that. Grabbed her phone and she literally punched me in the face when I wouldn't give it back. Found evidence of an affair with the worst of the worst on WhatsApp. Pictures. Vulgar sexual things being said etc. We have been married too. Five years and together a total of five so quite a bit of historno kids. I know the guy she slept with and he also is engaged. I am struggling with a heavy decision on my heart please give me opinions. Do I message this guy's fianc and tell her the truth? Do I stay with my wife? She is begging and pleading me to stay with her. I've gotten advice from around six or seven people. Most people are saying it's my path to walk but they certainly would take time and seek professional help. I've had two people say they would straight up end it. Not sure if the trust can be repaired as it feels like a wash slash rinse slash repeat cycle and stuck in with her. Edit. For this interested or keeping up with this I have an update. It's currently 9. 20 PM where I live and I'm going on about 8 hours now since I told her I want a divorce and I couldn't deal with her lies. Cheating and deception anymore. Since this took place she flew off a handle pissed off that I wouldn't forgive and left with a suitcase full of clothes which is fine by me. She is now trying to run up our credit card and has spent over 300 in the past several hours at a restaurant and bar combined. Probably with this dirtbag but who knows. Thanks to the Chase app I just locked our card down. Update as of Friday 110th. Sorry I'm a total noob to this not sure if I'm doing this right as things are right now I told her on Sunday 1-5th that I wanted a divorce. It was the hardest conversation I've ever had to have. She left in a fit of rage and emotion and went out that night and tried to rack up our credit card that has a 13k dollar limit. I froze the account so she couldn't do any more damage and immediately took half the money out of our joint bank accounts the following day. This was all on Sunday and Monday 1 5th and 1 6th. On Tuesday 1 7th I spoke with a lawyer and I meet with another lawyer this next Tuesday. She is supposed to come home this afternoon so we can talk about money slash assess and how we will split that as well as how our living situation will look until we can sort this out. I've been advised by everyone I talk with not to leave the house. Emotionally. I have good days that are usually followed up with bad days. Today. I just feel numb almost like I'm dreaming and I'll wake up and none of this will be real. I'm still struggling and I miss the person I am married to but then I ask myself does that person actually exist? Even on the bad days I know that I'm making the right decision for me and my future but I feel so lost like my purpose is gone. It's very hard to explain. Like I have so much free time on my hands now where I used to devote to hanging out with and doing stuff with her. My wife cheated on me with a coworker and he verbally assaulted her. Should I still file for divorce or try to save our marriage? Me 30M and my wife 29F have been together since 2005 and got married in 2011. Her and I have always been best friends and have been through our entire adult lives together. Three years ago we moved to a new city about 800 miles away from all of our lifelong friends and family after she had a job offer we thought was too good to pass up. We don't have any kids so we felt it was a perfect opportunity to try living somewhere outside our hometown. Unfortunately this job is what lead us to the issue I'm having today. Back in July of this year, she went on a trip with about eight of her coworkers for the weekend and on the last day, the group ran into a series of delays that ended up splitting the group and causing her and another guy to miss their flight and have to wait until the next morning to fly out. Her and this guy kept their rental car and drove around all night until morning. She swears nothing happened that night, but confessed their time spent together lead into her developing feelings for this guy. About a month after their trip. She confessed she was meeting up with him after work and going out together. This eventually lead to them having sex on a couple occasions. She expressed deep regret and told me she is trying to end her relationship with this guy. Even though I was devastated, I hesitated jumping straight to filing for divorce because I had a hard time coming to terms with what my life would be like without her. 
I eventually talked to a lawyer just to see my options. But we started going to counseling and tried to save the relationship because I felt she was truly sorry for what she did. This apparently made the guy very angry and he became verbally abusive over her reluctance to leave me. She wouldn't let me confront this guy and I had no idea how to find him. She works in a secure building that I can't just walk into. Around the end of September, he confronted her in their parking garage and called her every horrible name he could think of just to tear her apart. After that, she spoke to her supervisor and reported him for how he was treating her at work. She then blocked his phone number and she told me she moved to a different part of their building so she doesn't have to interact with him. I felt relieved that she is taking great efforts to get this person out of the picture. We're still going to counseling and I have been trying hard to move on. Now we get to last weekend and my question. On Friday, I found out she had taken a pregnancy test it came back negative and I was confused as why because we just recently have been having sex again after I felt like he was gone and we were getting our life back. I commented that if it was his, you would have known a long time ago because you two haven't had sex since June. After hesitation, she broke down and said that during our time of seeing a marriage counselor, she had went out with him a few more times and had unprotected sex around the beginning of September. They had sex before he verbally assaulted her in the parking garage. She telling her work and blocking his phone number. She swears she hasn't even talked to him since she told her boss at the end of September. Now I don't know what to do. She's shown me that she is trying to remove him from her life and swears she doesn't even cross paths with him at work. I want to feel like she wants to try again, but I can't get over that she's just going to do it all over again. Writing this out makes me feel I was blinded by my true love for her and desire to not end our relationship. We have 13 years of friendship and memories I don't want to throw away. I was really looking forward to a future with her and this little glimmer of hope that she won't do it again is keeping me from making any decisions. I'm going to talk to our counselor tomorrow, but I want a more honest opinion. Am I truly blind in the fact that I need to leave her? Or should I let the past be the past and hope we can work it out? TLDR. Wife of 7 years cheats with a coworker. She says she's sorry and we try to save the marriage. She keeps cheating. But he verbally assaulted her and she says she wants to be with me. Wife cheated on me with a coworker she calls her mentor and father figure for 7 years. Edit. She supposedly passed the polygraph but new details keep on emerging. It's a fact now that her relationship started before my cheating episode. She went to his house thrice but keeps maintaining nothing happened. Only once was he alone in the house and he tried and she refused it every other time the AF's family was there. I failed to comprehend how did she pass the polygraph in the first place. Also the AF slept with my wife's friend also in the same apartment and in fact in her room with her present in the apartment not once but twice. Her friend confirmed it but keeps on saying nothing happened with my wife whatever happened has happened with me only. Is this a threesome triangle or something more deadlier? P.S. Her friend is also in the same organization from past 8 years and most of the time they went out together back in my home country and here also. I had a teenage romance I am 30 now with one of the girls from school. It finally culminated to a beautiful marriage 2 years ago. I had not been completed loyal to her during my early 20s and had a fling with one other woman. I felt terrible and guilty. I confessed that to her within a week. She was very upset and angry. She got hold of my the other girl's number and ranted it out on her saying that I was too timing and she should stay away. But she forgave me or so I thought very soon maybe a week or two after. After that incident, I never had the courage to doubt her or check her phone etc. Whereas she used to do that often and allowed it thinking it takes time for somebody to trust even after they have forgiven you. I had the guilt of my cheating continuously attached to my soul for so many years until two months backs. There were many red flags that were there which I ignored. Finally two months ago I confronted her about her mentor slash manager with whom she had been working for 7 long years. I asked her if something had happened. She violently first denied it and tried to put the argument towards me that you have cheated on me doesn't mean I have cheated on you. Finally after a lot of asking she accepted that she has just kissed the guy during her vulnerable time when I cheated. That was 6 years ago. She started crying out after seeing my reaction and again went back to saying I have not done anything you were forcing me to say something so I said that. By this time I was convinced that she has done something. I asked one of her friends who has been with her in the same organization and she also mentioned this that everyone in the office could see they had a thing together. The discussion between me and her continued for two more months with constant fights. 
she accused me of falsely accusing her for cheating. Finally four days ago she accepted that she had actually kissed the guy and kept on promising that she never did anything else and it happened only once. Now I know this that they were in constant touch until I brought this matter up. They used to chat. Call since it's her manager. In 2019 just after marriage she was on an on-site deputation and the same manager was also there in the same hotel for about a month. Whenever I used to doubt her she also used to aggressively defend he is like my father. He has been my mentor how can you even think about something like this? There are many more instances. But the post is already long. I don't know what should I do. Edit. She disclosed that they kept on kissing for about two years. She passed the polygraph. The tester told me that whatever she is telling is the truth nothing happened apart from kiss. That also before marriage. She is going to a therapist today. She had a breakdown two days ago but I am still unable to come to terms with all this. All the images of the time she was cheating on me. All the memories. The entire relationship feels a lie. Marriage feels a lie. Love feels a lie. Any help is appreciated. Thank you for watching. 